everyone. Well, I'm going to be painting a series of Dorset scenes with Dorset Blue. Um, what I'm going to use for each one of our scenes is my own Dorset Blue paint, which I had made because I wanted a really strong tonal range. And this goes from very, very light to very, very dark. And we only need to use this tube of paint, possibly a little bit of white gouache if we need to bring back a highlight we've lost. Um, some masking fluid. I'm using a Marilyn Ellis block, which is about a quarter imperial size, £140. Um, I can get loads and loads of water onto this. It's um, gummed around the edges. So perfect. Don't need to stretch. Nice and quick and easy. And the three brushes that I will be using are all Marilyn Ellis brushes. Um, they all have a really good point. Let's um, show you. So they all point up even the very big ones, dip that into some water and that means that we can go in with detail and um, we don't have to keep changing brushes. So, well I wonder what we've got in store today, let's take a look. One of my favourite places, the cob at Lime Regis. Now I've drawn out light and dark shapes as you can see and with a credit card I've dipped it into masking fluid and I've scraped it along to get some of these lovely white sparkly edges when we paint that will really the white of the paper will really show up the darks and it will give us an amazing sort of glitter on that watery cob so let's make a start
I think I'm finished here. I think if I do very much more, um, it's just going to sort of overdo it. I can see a little bit of a dark shadow here that maybe should just go in. That will show up that step. And shadow sort of comes along there. Now I really don't want to overdo this, so I'm just going to dull down that a little bit. That's not as white as that. That's in shade. Just put a bit of a wash over it. A little bit of wash through there. Yeah, that doesn't sort of stand out so much in your face. The rest of it I'm just going to leave alone because I think it's better to do that than to overdo it. And I do love the cob at Lime Regis and I think I will keep revisiting it painting. So lots of texture, lots of movement and really just one colour and a little bit of opaque white for a little bit of splattering to get those waves that are often there. So thank you for watching.